between allies after a war is by no means always so simple. When President Truman asked Congress to approve American aid to Greece and Turkey, the policy he advocated was as significant as it was historic. The United States has received from the Greek government an urgent appeal for financial and economic assistance. Greece must have assistance if it is to become a self-supporting and self-respecting democracy. The very existence of the Greek state is today threatened by the terrorist activities of several thousand armed men led by communists. The British government, which has been helping Greece, can give no further financial or economic aid after March 31st. The British government has informed us that, owing to its own difficulties, it can no longer extend financial or economic aid to Turkey. As in the case of Greece, if Turkey is to have the assistance it needs, the United States must supply it. We are the only country able to provide that help. We shall not realize our objectives, however, unless we are willing to help free peoples to maintain their free institutions and their national integrity against aggressive movements that seek to impose upon them totalitarian regimes. <laughs> this is no more than a frank recognition that totalitarian regimes imposed upon free peoples by direct or indirect aggression undermine the foundations of international peace and hence the security of the United States. <laughs>